Welcome back to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey. Thanks once again for tuning into my channel. Uh, I haven't done one of these for a little while, so another one of my artist series. You know, I know a lot of my subscribers love my artist series and quite often requested to obviously keep going with it as long as I have art to show. Um, so this is episode number 27. So I've done quite a few of these. Um, particular you know videos for this particular series um obviously with some artists i have multiple pieces but a lot of the artists i do have only a singular piece this is going to be one of those episodes where i only have one singular piece um for this particular one now the artist that is in question for this particular episode um is a filipino artist and his name is kim jacinto uh, you may or may not have heard of him, but he has done a lot of work for the big two. Uh, he's also done some independent work for like Skybound, Boom Studios, things like that. Uh, but for DC, he's done some Batman stuff. He's done, obviously, he's done some Joker stuff. Um, but he, most of his work's actually been in Marvel. He's done some Spidey 2099 stuff. Uh, he's done Champions, he's done Hulk, he's done Unworthy Thor, he's done Amazing Spider-Man. He's actually done quite a bit of work. Um, for Marvel. Mostly known for his interior work, but he has done a few covers and stuff like that as well. So, um, now with this particular piece, I organised this uh, was pretty much, I think it was either late 2018, so one of my more recent pieces, or early 2019, but actually received it in 2019. Now this is one of, another one of my uh, easier transactions, should I say. So obviously I've mentioned before, with certain artists when you're actually commissioning them. Sometimes there's, you know, lack of communication. Um, there's problems with, you know, obviously time frames is a, another major one. Communication and time frames is probably the main two, you know, gripes that people have when commissioning original art. Um, it's not like just buying an already published page or cover where you just buy it and they send it to you. Obviously with stuff like this, they gotta have the free time to be able to do it. But with this particular one, he'd opened up a list, um, took a few names, things like that. I contacted him, very lovely, very friendly and easy to work with um, creator. And pretty much within a few months that I had it. So it's actually one of my best, um, well not best, but one of my easiest transactions and probably one of the, you know, the ones that I say it's not on my uh, very long wait list, which I have quite a few, which you will eventually see on this channel. I will eventually get to those. So not everything is, um, you know, great and easy and things like that. Sometimes there can be, as I said, long waits, years upon years. Sometimes there's problems with, you know, money. They might say, okay, it's X amount. And then once they finally get to yours, it's now this amount and things like that. So, but I oh, will get to those sort of stories. So you always got to share the good with the bad. Um, try and focus on more the good, more than anything else. But in saying that, you still got to have the constructive sort of uh, information for the uh, the followers and people who may want to get into it or may are still, you know, waiting to get into it or people that, you know, you know want to go, oh, yeah, I love that artist. I might want to try and commission him. Obviously, the more information I can give, the better. So, but yeah, this was definitely one of my easier ones. Anyway, I've uh, babbled on long enough. So I'll show you the actual piece. So this is an 11 by 17 full figure um, with background uh, now they, you probably classify this as probably minimum background mainly because of the detail there's only a small amount of detail at the bottom and then it's just brush strokes for the rest obviously he likes to you know fill up that negative space um, but I did give him artist choice and he did go for something a little bit less common which was awesome and that was actually man spider and it actually really, uh, really does show in his uh, in his artwork. And it actually reminds me of a lot of um, the very popular artists at the moment, uh, Daniel Warren Johnson, who's been doing. Uh, I think it's Do a Power Bomb is his actual series. Got that very sort of similar sort of style. Show you that. So very, uh, very sort of, I, I would call it an, an erratic 
sort of style. Yeah, very uh, very cool piece and very glad to have this in my collection because he, uh, as I said, awesome guy, awesome artist and very easy to deal with. So very, very cool. So yeah, 11 by 17, full figure with minimum background by Kim Jacinto. And there we go. So yeah, another nice, easy episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, as we always say, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment if you wish. Let me you know, know what you think of the piece itself. If you've got any questions or anything like that, just leave them in the comments below. Um, but yeah, obviously, most, most importantly, hit that subscribe button if you already have. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and Spidey out.